Bad. All right. This, um, they're going to try to fuck with me for listening to uh, gospel music from what I'm hearing in the Astro Brain. Anything uh, largely gospel music. Anyways, with that being said, because this is some evil shit, I felt her energy. I touched the top of a crown chakra. And sure enough, I felt the consciousnesses, the energy signatures, everything added up. And I just started going to town on this bitch. It's a big old fucking bully bitch. When I saw her on the PCA, she don't come off that way. Now, I'm also going to say this. I got into it with this bitch here. I believe it's that motherfucker. She came in up to me one night and tried to talk about, you know, me being top of play, play that shit with white people. I don't, I don't like white people when they get in the business. I'd be ready to fucking slap their ass. Like, I remember a while back I was in the Starbucks. And they had a white bitch that tried to touch my hair and she was with her old nigga. And I say to her, bitch, don't touch my hair, bro. I'll slap the shit out you. I don't give a fuck if you got your fucking nigga right here. I don't play that shit. I don't, I don't humble myself down to fucking white people. I don't fuck with white people like that. Now, with that being said, I felt her energy signature. And I started attacking the bitch, but I noticed that her roach attachments, them roach attachments and shit protect the shit out of her. And we'll do something where they turn a person, like when you try to use visualization and stuff, they're very adapt once they get into your head of turning that person into not an, uh, I think an entity attachment so that you're not picking up on their real life energy signature. There's ways to get rid of them motherfuckers. There was actually the higher self of somebody here who told me uh, 71, zero, I think it's 17, 71, 71 hertz is a good one. 613 all the way up to uh, 613 hertz is very good. It runs them up the street because it destroys their infectiousness. Like them things like to be infectious. So it destroys them. I'm going to say how to destroy energy vampires because all of these people are energy vampires. There's a uh, 101 hertz is really, really good for running them up the street. You can also use through visualization, stabbing them in the sword, in the uh, heart chakra where their pilot number is. With a silver sword, it's got to be silver. And that fucks them up a little bit. Like I say, these people, this is some CIA level type shit. Like these motherfuckers will sit high top roofs and all, not roofs, but they're able to see what I'm doing in the astral plane. And the roach attachments were saying that that's because they were looking through my eyes. But really, they're... They use entity attachments like that Alex Nussi Miental entity attachment, that Barbara entity attachment to spy on you in their higher selves. I noticed that when you hit them with a silver sword, it stops them. But they, they, this, this is some crazy shit because they do something where they fucking churn out roach attachments of themselves or on top of roach attachments. Like I say, this is some highly advanced type shit. <laughs> I saw that right up close to Astronet. I saw that with my poor roommate the other night. She don't know what the fuck is going on. And I saw her. They were trying to fuck with her and possess her. Them things. I'm wondering if it could be an old time, like 
when I've heard these people in the astral, they don't even take the orders of these fucking people, but they come from out of their head. I've heard their real life self. Like I say, it can't be them two thug life motherfuckers, but heard supposedly that they shield themselves in the astral plane. But anyways, every night I wake up, they keep putting me through like a wash that's attached to my own fucking consciousness and shit, trying to detach me as much as they can from my consciousness, my astral body, so they can continue the energy harvest and make me weak and you know, throw me off from talking about them and exposing them. You know, from what I understand, they don't like the operations to be exposed and how they work, especially the roach attachments. Now, the reason why I'm saying all of that is because, like I said, I kept getting the Bienvenidas in two in the past before I met those people. So, you know, I asked my third eye, I asked, you know, my spirit guides, show me their name, and I saw Bienvenidas. I'm like, this here <coughs> don't seem, you know, this don't seem right. Something about that don't seem right. I just, I can't see them two thug life motherfuckers. Sorry. I can't see them two, they're trying to get me to do something to my astral body that's going to fuck me up. That's why you hear me making that, you know, I'm trying to control something right now. You know, from what I understand, they got me looking like a crackhead in the astral plane because my astral self, my higher self is near dead and every fucking thing else confusing me every single day about putting me into different astral bodies, tearing me down and all that. He okay, that's, that's an evil bitch. But I just keep getting the sense I wonder if that's the real one or just some CIA-made motherfucker. But I wouldn't doubt if it's the real one. There's no telling with these people. You know, from what I understand, they put her over her to keep me from getting my shit back. My blessings from uh, Bo Her and Timothy Chalamet. They kept calling him Charlemagne and Charlemagne. Like I say, from what I understand, a lot of Hollywood, hella weird people go to these evil motherfuckers to purchase people who they can find in the astral plane, who they can energy harvest off of. Isaac Marazzi is one of the people from one of that very, very powerful spirit guy showed me, who was energy harvesting off of me. I got Madonna. Um, Tim Burton's another one, major energy vampire. They do something evil where, like, see, you have entity attachments or roach attachments that get placed in charge of your consciousness that's designed that's designed to keep the order of things in your body. And what these evil motherfuckers with their curses do is they let their roach attachments, the more sentient ones, release roach attachments that are designed to control like certain functions of your astral body, like, you know, your, your, your bodily functions, your consciousness, your heart, and they had Tim Burton placed in charge of my um, consciousness in the astral plane. You know, through my ancestors and all of that, we were able to remove them and get rid of them. 
But his roach attachment, because I still have their roach attachments attached to me, keep coming back. And he, you know, from what I understand, wanted to harvest in the astral plane my consciousness. Again, that all sounds like science fiction, but it's all true. He is his family. They do something where you're connected to them, but they can fuck with you and they can harm you and you can they can see you, but you can't see where they are in the astral plane through them sensing your roach attack. That's what I was talking about. They keep doing some shit where they keep doing like some soul tie shit between me and, you know, one of my spirit guides and all of that, fucking with her, trying to estrange me as much as possible from her, my consciousness and all of that. Some type of double bind, like when I try to go in and attack these people. It's some really evil fucking shit, you know, and you have to go in. Which you calling that? No, they fucking with me. Hold on a second. All right. This, this is some evil shit, you know, like... <laughs> my ancestors have been helping me out as much as they can. So these roach attachments that they sicked on me have been doing everything in their power when I try to escape and break free of the curse to estrange me from them and remove them from out of my head, out of my consciousness by fucking with fucking up my consciousness as much as possible. And keeping me from being able to escape, like when I get close to escaping. Uh, this is not a regular curse, man. It's, it's like, I feel like I'm stuck in a jar. Like some type of pig pen, man. It don't, it don't feel right. Like, I'm sitting here, instead of being on top of the world, or at least being equal with these people, you know, we're not equal. It's like I'm sitting in the fucking uh, hamster maze, they call it, trying to figure out and wonder what the fuck is going on. And meanwhile, these people are staring in, looking down on me, just putting all sorts of shit on me and doing whatever. That's exactly what it feels like. And you try to fight it as much as you can, and you can't. You know, I, I get harassed by these things every single fucking day. But with that being said, they place these motherfuckers in charge of various functions of your consciousness so you can't get rid of them. And once you do, if you let their roach attachments back in, they're going to try to pull them back in. Do something to pull them back in. And it was starting to get really, really good at one point. But them things just make it even worse. Now, with that being said, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with these people. What's the connection? What's the connection between these people and the Ocalans? Because like I say, there's something really strange going on. There's a lot of child stuff porn I heard they were involved in. I kept seeing Rewind Entertainment. I was hearing the Astro playing him telling little kids, uh, don't do this. Oh, you know, touch it. I heard Nicholas Bearden, from what I understand, he's a fluff for kids, which means just like 
there's people who are designed to get an entertainer, regular entertainer ready. That's what a fluffer is. He'll suck the penis or lick the, the vagina of a little boy or a little girl. And I actually heard him doing that in the astral plane to a young African child. In the astral plane. I'm trying to figure out what's the connection between these people. You know, I was fed a line that supposedly they went down there for a classified or some shit like that to drive a white truck. I talked about uh, Jack Nicholson being involved in that. That's one motherfucker that should have been aborted from what I'm hearing in the spirit plane. All in people are evil. This is what I'm finding now. All in people are evil. Even the ones you don't think are evil, they involved in evil shit. You know, Zendaya sacrificed that boy, Angus Cloud. He was very real. I liked him. Kind of, sort of. She going to be like a uh, lot of celebrities who get on top. I don't fuck with that Illuminati shit, man. They set your ass up to be sacrificed and all that. I don't fuck with none of that. I stay as far away from that as possible. I'm away from them hella weird people. I don't fuck with that. You know, I like teaching people how to fight shit like this. How to heal shit like this. If it wasn't for these people, I would have been a healer. They totally fucked it up. You know, because this is... Totally fucked it up. Because this shit is next to fucking impossible. You know, you get rid of them and you have to have like very alert 24-7 cogent spiritual protection. And their insanity and his God, Zeus or whatever, is the one trying to keep me stuck to that shit. I ain't happy. That's why I say you gotta, you gotta, when you're dealing with something like this, you know, if you're failing, you have to totally change around your spiritual protection because it's just not gonna work. So I'm trying to figure out who these people are, you know. I don't want any dummies coming on here talking mad shit because I'm gonna say this right now. I'll put this shit right on you. So you can see what I'm fucking dealing with. I'm not one of these people to be like, oh, oh you know, you know, no, nigga, I'll put that shit right on you. I know how you look and everything else. Don't come on my page with that bullshit. I'll show you what I'm experiencing. I used to woke the fuck out of people, but people who deserved it on PCH years ago. People earned it. I wasn't just, you know, trifling, going around trying to steal spiritual powers and shit. If you raped me or you did something to me, I was going to woke your ass. And I didn't realize it at the time, but because I had that evil motherfucker acting as a higher self, alone, you know, did something about it, got rid of that, acting as a higher self. We couldn't, I couldn't, he did something where he stole a soul piece. I got the soul piece of mine from Baron Samity, who also declared me as a sacrifice. You're a piece of shit. I can't stand that motherfucker. You know, from what I understand, he's trying to tie me to this curse. You know, I really know his real name. I'll drop that shit, you know, if anybody having problems with him. Because that's evil. This is evil to keep me tied to this shit. And make it so that my life is under heavy curses. With that being said...
with that being said, you know, because I refuse to have my life subject to curse after curse after curse, you know. One of my fucking higher selves is like when she heard Ben Sam and the F4 thing got scared. Because they went through some shit with Baron Sam and the uh, my spirit guys. If it wasn't for one by the name of Eden, I would have never been on that show Rock of Love. I would have never been any of that. Don't come on here with that shit too because, you know, I don't want to be petty. Oh. The reason why I brought all of that shit up is because he stole the soul piece, so Kyle stole the soul piece of mine from Baron Samity, acting as a so-called guru or some shit. Like, like I'm trying to wrap my mind around all of this shit, you know? To get your enemy, you have to understand them. And put his entity attachments in there to try to make a slave out of me in the astral plane, a remote slave. As a matter of fact, there was a book called How to Create a Totally Undetectable Mind-Controlled Slave by uh, Fritz Freemeyer. And they use this shit to do it. They don't tell you in that book, but they use it because people are scared of these things. They're real. I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out what okay he attached that soul piece to me and attached a piece of himself or whatever to it in the astral plane but that shit don't work on me I'm the wrong fucking one I'm very very vocal and I don't hold back you know all throughout this thing they've been trying to manipulate me by fucking with my consciousness every night their little entities will leave the heads of them, the O'Collars or whatever, their people, come over and start fucking with my shit. I'm trying to figure out what I'm dealing with, you know, who those people are. I can't make sense out of it. Again, there's frequencies to get rid of them, them motherfuckers get fucking, they lose their consciousness when you play 613 hertz frequency. That runs them right up the street. There's another one, 7171 hertz. God frequency, which is really, really good to play. Play those frequencies and you can get rid of them. But I'm trying to figure out their connection to the Bienvenidas. Wow, it's because this this is crazy. I'm trying to get to the fucking trying to get to the catharsis of all of this. Because <coughs> it all don't make sense to me. That being said, their parasites fear not being able to feed on people by being able to clasp onto people, weld onto people. You have to play 613, uh, 613 hertz or 614 hertz, 615 hertz even, to be able to get rid of them and get rid of their asses because they're giant parasites. Last night they did something in the astral plane that totally fucked up my consciousness and turned it around. They were energy harvesting off of me bad, giving like major pieces of my astral self to Zendaya. I know this all sounds schizophrenic, but trust me, it's real. And people can do it. With that being said, um, play 614 hertz frequency to finish them off because their whole consciousness is nothing but astral parasites of the hyper sentient kind. And I'll show you at the end of this video exactly how they look. Peace.